Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profit Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part number 21. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about how can we keep our old data to form and also we will list all the data what we have inside our table to our front end page. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Code Igniter Framework Tutorial. So if I back to browser, now this is the front end so far we have developed. So if I let's say that I am going to save some of the data from this form. So if I reload this page, let's say that this is our data and let's say that ABCD, this is our email address, let's say phone number something dummy value and the salary something dummy value. So if I press submit button, as we can see that here we have some error. Error is that the name field must be at least 6 characters in length. Now, As we can see that inside this field no data actually there what we have supplied previously before this error. Means we want to keep the data while getting any error. It means that if I back here go to form.php Now inside this form.php these are the fields that we have developed called name email address, phone number and the salary. So we want to retain the old values also. So inside here we have a coordinator function which basically gives you the old data what we have supplied to our input boxes. So function is something called set value. Inside set value we have to pass the field name. So in case of this name attribute we have called txt underscore name so just copy that and pass here so if I save this here go here again if I back to our route reload this page and let's say that this is another name which we have supplied instead of at least six characters in length so let's email address something dummy value phone number something dummy value and salary something dummy value this time name is not six characters in length it means that we will get some error in case of this name field. So if I please submit, okay there is some error I think because it didn't keep the old value. So back to editor and let's say that we have written successfully here but actually we have to pass inside this value attribute of this name field. So if I save this file, back again, reload this page, let's say that this is another name that we have passed. This is dummy email ID, dummy phone number and dummy salary. So if I press submit button, now as we can see that here is the error but this time we have also our old value. It means this is the function is used to keep the old value after getting any error inside the code igniter form validations. So again if I copy these fields, go here and here inside this form there is no set value function is attached with email, phone number and salary. It means we have lost our old data while getting this error. So we have to retain all the old data of these fields by putting set value function. So again we have to change something called txt underscore email. Again copy this value, go here, pasting it here and let's say txt underscore phone and finally here let's say txt underscore salary save these files back here reload this page and let's say that this is another value let's say dummy email address dummy phone number and the salary dummy value if I press submit we are getting error but this time we have also the old values we have supplied to these fields so this is our first point that we have to discuss inside this video. Keep our old data to form while getting any form validations inside Code Igniter. So for the first point the summary will be something called here we have to use the value attribute inside any of the input fields and inside this value we have to actually keep the old data by using this set value function set underscore value inside the set value we have to get our name attribute name name attribute name 
okay this is what we have to do in this inside the second point we are going to list all the data that we have saved to our database table if I back to database inside this table tb underscore users all the data as we can see here so we are going to list all these data inside these forms by making a list table back to editor now inside this form we are going to firstly make a button which will redirect to our list page so inside here let's say that this is our form and here I'm going to make a button let's say button or let's anchor tag let's say go to list or back or simply let's say list users and inside here I'm going to pass some routes and also attach some of the class let's say btn btn let's say primary and also we want to pull write okay and finally I have to supply the route so let's say php echo and we are going to use site URL inside this site URL firstly we have to make a route so back to routes.php back to bottom and let's say route let's say users and list a list and simply we have to go inside users controller inside let's say list all users this is the method that we have to make so if I copy this method name firstly save this file go to controller inside this controller we need to declare that function so this is the function that we have to call now all we have done we have made a method we have made a route so copy this route back to our form.php and we need to supply here back to browser reload this page and as we can see that here is the button that we have made something called list users again if I go here if I change the position something at the upper of this label and something here when I click on this list users we will redirect it on the route what we have made so if I click on that as we can see that this is the route called users forward slash list inside this route we are going to make a table inside that table actually we will list all the data from this tbl underscore users table so back to our editor let's say that I am going to firstly copy and paste or before copying and paste if I make here something let's say this load and view inside this view if I go to views folder inside here I am going to make a file inside this users folder and something let's say that list users.php so back to our method inside here we have to pass our view name so the view file basically inside user folder inside here we have the file something called list user users so if I save this file close this inspect of netbeans so save this file after saving back to our browser we need to open called bootstrap table so let's say bootstrap from this website I'm going to pick the code of the table so if I back here here is something called bootstrap tables so if I click on that scroll down here we have multiple references of our tables so what basically we are going to implement so, so if any of the data something called right here if I click on this link it will redirect to the sum pieces of code I'm going to copy all the codes what we have inside this file so just copy a code back to editor <clears throat> now inside the file called list users I'm going to paste all the codes what we have copied from the website now if I save this file back here reload this route now here we have dummy data so firstly we need to remove that and put all the columns what we have inside our table so back to editor 
will say that this is not bootstrap example this is listing all users these are the necessary files which will be required to actually make the bootstrap file linking and the JavaScript code so here let's see that list all users if I remove this paragraph tag from here and also here is let's say that serial number inside our table we have name column we have email column something phone number and finally we have a column something called salary something like that salary back here we need to remove all these dummy values first so I'm going to select all the data removing all these things from here save the data and firstly we have now called five columns so we have to specify values for that so let's say for dummy I'm going to put the one serial number in the next we have name so let's say Sanjay email address so dummy value something online at gmail.com next we have phone number so dummy value I'm going to supply and finally we have called salary column so let's say 3000 as or 6000 as the dummy value so if I save this file back here reload this page now as we can see that this is list all users inside this layout I'm going to make a button and that button basically back to our form data so let's say back to form inside this anchor tag firstly we need to supply href and also let's say btn btn let's say primary inside this href we need to supply call helpers for slash form this is the route for that so I'm going to supply inside here so let's say php echo something called site URL inside this site URL this is the route and also I'm going to pull button to the right so pull right if I save this form file reload this page now this is the data and also we need to make margin top from so this is style margin top something let's say four percent so if I save this file back here reload this page and now we have the same layout so if I click on the button here we are at the form list users if here we are on the list now we have to make these data dynamic so back to our controller and let's say that here call list underscore users this will take the data and the data is something from the user model so let's say user model and the method something called get all users so firstly we need to make the method inside user model so back to user model let's say that public function this is the method name and we need to select all the data from that table so we have the query what we have learned something called db select all data let's say from table name so here something called from method table name something tbl underscore users where so here we are not going to put any where conditions because we are going to select all the data so finally query equal to this db get and finally we have to return the result so let's say result something what we have the query it will give the result method and finally we need to return to the controller so return so if I back to controller we are getting all the users inside this variable now next we have to pass this variable to our view file so how can we pass that so if I copy this variable name back here let's say that I am going to define a data array what we have actually learned in our previous video sessions and let's say list all it's all underscore users and I'm going to assign this variable to this array key something called all users and finally I'm going to attach this data variable inside this view method so if I save this file go to our view file scroll down now we have the data so something let's say PHP tag 
if let's say count we have all the users data inside this key so if I copy this key back to a here and let's say that if count users means inside this all users we have more than data means more than one data so inside here I'm going to make for each all users as let's say index and let's say user finally we are going to iterate over all the users what we have inside this all users variable so just I'm going to put these PHP tags cut this TR from here pasting it here so if I save this file here back to browser reload this page now we have the same data it means that five records inside our table but this time this is a static so we have to make dynamic so let's say user firstly user count in slice with one value so inside here I'm going to let's say that PHP tag let's say echo and finally user count something plus plus so if I close this inspect save this file back here this is the name so inside user variable so let me put it here echo something called user and this is the name field again if I copy this statement back to our email address pasting it here and let's say user email pasting it here and this should be something phone so let me check the column name once and this is phone underscore number so this is phone underscore number and finally we have to put the salary this is our salary key so if I save this file back to our browser reload this page now as we can see that this is the data we have saved these are the serial numbers name email address phone number and the salary so if I back to form let's add one more data so let's online web tutor so if I put email address something called online web tutor hub and finally the phone number something dummy value and the salary is something 10,000 so if I save this form data okay not actually exceed more than 10 characters so it is fine click on submit so this time also we have so finally remove that so if I submit form data has been successfully created go to list users and this is the data what we have saved so successfully guys inside this video we had seen about the two points something called how can we keep our old data inside our form and also we have listed all the saved data to our table to our front-end page so inside next video session guys we are going to learn some more topics inside code igniter so if you have any doubt inside this video guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day